36-24-36 po. Ito signs po ba? Kala ko ba ito at statistics eh. So, ang vital signs guys, composed of blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, at ang fifth considered na vital sign is pain. Pagkuha ng blood pressure guys, dapat marunong kayo gumamit ng stethoscope and sphygmomanometer. Pero marunong ding available na automatic blood pressure monitor na pwede natin gamitin. Pero gusto kong itakaw yung blood pressure sa different or separate video. So, sa blood pressure guys, meron tayong tinatawag na systolic and diastolic pressure. So, for example, 120 over 80 yung blood pressure ko. 120 is my systolic or systole and 80 is my diastolic or diastole. Normal blood pressure natin is less than 120 over 80 pero if a flash ko or i-attach ko sa screen somewhere yung blood pressure guideline from the American Heart Association. Guys, dapat hindi lang tayo nagpo-focus sa mataas na systolic blood pressure pero sa mataas na diastolic pressure as well. Kasi minsan, ini-ignore natin yung lower or yung diastolic pressure. Systolic guys, yung systolic kapag nagko-contracting heart mo. Pag diastolic, pag naka-relax yung heart mo. So, pag mataas yung diastolic mo, so naka-relax na yung heart mo, tapos mataas pa yung diastolic mo, it means na may strain na nangyayari sa heart mo or sa mga blood vessels mo. So, over time, magiging high risk ka to have stroke or heart attack. I have 5 tips para makakuha ng accurate na blood pressure. First is dapat relax or hindi nagsasalita yung patient. Second is dapat hindi siya nakawear ng long sleeves or makapal na damit. Yung kamay dapat heart level, it cannot be above or below. So, Make sure na empty yung bladder ng patient at nakaihin na or paihin mo na yung patient. Dapat hindi nakakross yung leg ng patient, dapat nakarelax siya. Next vital signs na rin is heart rate. Ang normal heart rate is 60 to 100. Kapag babies or infants naman, it's 120 to 160. Ang tawag kapag mababa ang heart rate is bradycardic or bradycardia. Kapag mataas naman ang heart rate, it's tachycardic or tachycardia. So, pwede natin guys bilangin yung pulse ng patient natin dito sa wrist or dito sa side ng neck in one full minute or meron din naman tayong ginagamit na pulse oximetry. Third vital sign natin is respiratory rate. Ang normal respiratory rate natin is 12 to 20 beats per minute. Kapag mababa sa normal, it's called tachypnic or tachypnia. Kapag mataas naman sa normal, it's called bradypnic or bradypnia. Sa pagkaw ng respirations guys, kailangan i-observe natin ang rise and fall ng chest. If comfortable kayo, pwede nyo i-observe yung chest part or pwede rin naman sa shoulders. Pero pwede rin namang mag-pretend na nagka-count ng pulse, ilagay yung hand ng patient dito sa chest or sa heart part and then you can go ahead and count for the respirations. Of course, kailangan one full minute pa rin ang pag-count ng respirations. And tip guys, wag na wag nyong sasabihin na nagka-count kayo ng respirations kasi pwede nilang i-alter yung paghinga nila. Pwede lang bagalan or pwede nilang bilisan. Fourth vital signs natin is temperature. Ang normal temperature is 36.1 to 37.2 degrees Celsius or 98 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Kapag mababa sa normal, it's called hypothermia. Kapag mataas sa normal, it's called hyperthermia. So para malaman natin ang temperature ng patient natin, pwede natin it check orally or sa mouth, sa rectal, or sa kilikili or axillary. Fifth vital sign natin is pain. It is considered as the fifth vital sign and it is subjective or yung patient lang yung makakapagsabi sa'yo na in pain sila. So, meron tayong limang pain assessment method which is PQRST. P stands for provocation or palliation which means ano ba yung ginagawa mo nung sumakit? Ano ba yung nakakapag-relieve yung sakit mo? Or what caused your pain? And letter Q, quantity or quality. Paano may describe yung pain? Sharp ba siya? Dull pain? Aching pain? Nauseating pain? Throbbing pain? Stabbing pain? Shooting pain? Stretching? Next letter natin is R, radio or region. San ba siya masakit? Nagmumove ba siya? Nagta-travel ba yung pain? Or located lang ba siya sa isang spot? Next is letter S or severity scale. Ito yung pain scale. Ito yung 0 to 10. 0 means wala kang nararamdamang pain. 2 is moderate. And then 10 is yung ka-worst na pain. Last letter natin is T or timing. Gano kadalas ba siya sumasakit? Kailan sumasakit? Gradual ba siya? Or sudden? How long does it last? Daily ba siya? Hourly? Weekly? Monthly? And yun yung definition. This is it, Pansit. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you!